everybody has their own Michael Jordan. <laughs> now, I know it sounds weird, but um, I actually got to meet my Michael Jordan. Now, I'm not talking about the live, the, the real Michael Jordan. I actually did get to watch him play when he was with the Washington Wizards. But aside from that, everybody has this person in their life that is kind of an amazing person that they wish they could meet. And quite often it's, it's celebrities. But my, my Michael Jordan was someone that most of you will never have heard of. His name was Dale Von Sagan. Now, Dale started a ministry called One Way Street, and it was devoted to helping uh, children's ministries, specifically in the areas of puppetry, clowning, and um, uh, Christian magic, like uh, Christian illusionists. And in this ministry, I mean, he made a great name for himself. He made how-to videos, they would sell products, including puppets and patterns, and um, I always looked up to him. Uh, just. He was, uh, we watched his training videos so often, he was just, he was kind of a, a celebrity to me. Well, when I was an adult, I became a children's pastor, and I was at a children's ministry conference, and we went out to dinner in between um, you know, workshop sessions, and at this restaurant, we walk in as a group, and they ask us how many people are in our party. And then Dale Von Sagan walks in right behind me, and I said, oh, there's six of us unless Dale wants to join us. And I just look at him, just kind of half joking, and he said, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> that was amazing. So I got to have dinner with this guy that I looked up to, and I found out that he knew my childhood pastor. He knew several people from where I lived. It was amazing. and. Um, you know, unfortunately he has passed away since then, but I got to have dinner with my Michael Jordan. How many people in your life are your Michael Jordan? And you could have dinner with them. You could spend time with them if you just take your shot.